So this weekend we're in Algonquin Provincial Park. We're doing a two-night, three-day backcountry camping trip. We're starting off at Canoe Lake and we're making our way to Burnt Island Lake. And then tomorrow we're heading to Tom Thompson Lake and then we're heading back. If you find this video useful, give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Pretty good. So we're about four kilometers into the paddle right now. We got 15 kilometers total to go. And now, like, what are we doing? <laughs> so we just got to the portage, the first portage of the day. We're heading from Canoe Lake to Joe Lake. It is a 295 meter portage, and we're gonna do this in one trip. You ever go near a bear before? No, I haven't. Only at the zoo, actually. <laughs> oh, this isn't too bad. Oh, yeah. This is my first portage, so quite the experience. I'm like struggling to balance this bitch. <laughs> So we're arriving to the second portage. This one's 165 meters. Okay, so we just we just got uh, to the third portage. We were told you can actually paddle through it, so we're gonna try to give that a try and see if we get stuck enough to come back or we can make it the, the full way. But just for your reference, this is the third portage. It looks a little bit rocky. We might have enough clearance. So it looks like it actually gets very shallow, and we're gonna have to jump out. So this is the portage that we just avoided. We're going this way, um, and we came from the stream over there. We just left uh, Lost Joe Lake. Um, we're going to Baby Joe. We decided to take the water route again, because it's nice and refreshing. So we're just walking through over here. So we're currently on Little Joe Lake. We're approaching the fourth portage. It's just ahead of us. There we go. Okay, so we just left Little Joe Lake. We're heading to Burnt Island Lake finally. This portage is not too long, I don't think. Apparently the sign doesn't show, so you can see over here. There's two ways, we're gonna be going right. We got some nice steps over here. So we're at Burnt Island now. We're gonna take a look at the map, try to find a good spot that's not too far. Okay, so we are at our campsite right now. We just set up our tents. We're gonna set up the stuff inside our sleeping pads, sleeping bags, etc., and then make some nice dinner. Um, here's a look at our site. It's actually pretty nice. Got the two tents over here. We got our fire pit. And the best thing with this site is by far the view. So tent is set up. Um, we're not gonna put the rain fly on tonight because we wanna see some stars. So we're gonna see how that turns out. Okay, so for dinner tonight, 
we got a feast, okay? We're making chicken Caesar wraps, so I'll show you how to do it. And there you go. Now one recommendation with chicken Caesar wraps, a nice thing is there's no dishes, there's no pots, there's no cooking. It's heavier when you carry here and there's no question about that, but it's fresh. So, cheers. So we got a nice nature encounter over here on this strip. Take a look at this. Hey buddy. What should we name him? I don't know. Chris's creation. <laughs> Okay, so it's the morning of day two. We just had some coffee, had some breakfast. We're gonna start packing everything up now. And then today we're heading to Tom Thompson Lake. We got a 1.2 kilometer portage and then probably about an hour or so worth of canoeing and then we'll be there. So last night sleeping with the tarp off was one of the best ideas. It was a little bit cloudy. We didn't get to see that many stars, which, which kind of sucked. But waking up this morning with a sunrise was unbelievable. Okay, so we just packed everything up. We're heading out now. So that's the first sight on Burnt Island Lake. Don't know how we were lucky enough to get it, but here we go. We're loving this trip so far. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. We got a ton of more camping videos coming out shortly. So we're currently doing the 1.2 kilometer portage. I got the bag in the canoe. The other guys got the other bags. That's sick. Oh, look at this path. All right guys, we just finished our 1.2 kilometer portage. Uh, so now we're on Little Doe Lake. Um, say probably halfway there to the next campsite so we got across little doe and then we'll be on uh, uh, Tom Thompson where we're gonna catch some fish for dinner and that's not an understatement we're definitely catching fish for dinner if not we're not eating tonight so stay tuned to see what happens <laughs> okay. I always see mini fish These guys uh, scavenged some logs. Just look at this. These are full on fire logs. What the hell? Where'd you get this from? So we just got back from fishing. We got our two nice fish that we're going to have for dinner. And we're setting up our tent where we're putting it today. It's a little bit risky. We're uh, living life on the edge, literally. But we figured it'd be a cool spot. So right now we're just filleting the fish. Um, we're gonna put this on the pot with some, some oh, breading and some oil, good. and it's gonna be our fish tacos. I like it. I like that. We're gonna put it in the batter bag. There we go. That's one. There we go. Yeah, so right now we got uh, dinner going. So far, we got our fettuccine Alfredo, and right over there is the main course. We got our deep fried, beer battered. Yeah, get in there. Uh, so 
but we're just wrapping up the day. Um, today was a great day. Portages weren't too long. Canoeing took us about an hour or so. We found a decent site. There's probably a little bit better ones out there, but this is fine. So we just finished our dinner. Fish tacos were unbelievable. Um, we didn't really have the taco because the uh, lettuce went bad, but the fish itself was really good. Now we're kind of just packing everything up, cleaning it up for the night, and then we're gonna do a bonfire behind us. We're eating some instant noodles out of, a, out of the, its own bag because we don't want to do dishes again. Resourceful. <laughs> this is beautiful. Nice. Did our photo shoot for Damn. Oh, that's a beauty. No, a photographer, Maybe these last ones. Woo! What the hell? How do you? Yo, what the? Yo, take them on his phone too. Yo, what the... <laughs> nah, that's beautiful. Hey. Good morning, today is day three, so it's our last day here. Right now we're just loading the canoes up. We're actually gonna go take uh, some of our stuff to the island across from us and have a nice morning coffee and oatmeal there. Cause you get sun and right now it's just shade and it's pretty cold. Then we're gonna pack everything up and head out. We have about 12 kilometer canoeing to get back to Canoe Lake. And then we head home from there. So we just packed everything up and we're ready to head out. We probably got about a three hour or so canoe ride to get back to Canoe Lake. So we'll keep you updated on the time. Right now it is 11.30. So hopefully we get back, not too long. Let's go guys. So we're on Joe Lake, approaching the portage for Canoe Lake. Okay, so currently on the last portage. It's about 120, 150 meters, so it shouldn't take it too long. Then we'll be back to Canoe Lake and end the trip there. So we just made it back to the Canoe Lake access point. Uh, it was a great trip. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and a subscribe. We got a lot more camping and travel content coming up soon.